the last current powered Huawei smartphone is pretty much here. What's up guys, Huawei, the world's largest smartphone maker is getting up to launch its next generation of Huawei Mate 40 and we have quite a lot of information about the next flagship phone from Huawei which is going to be a milestone. Yes, other than the code name of the Mate 40, according to Rodan, it will be a milestone in many ways and display is one of them. It was rumored to have a 120 degree waterfall display, we've seen it in parents giving much more controls on camera and now it is confirmed the Huawei Mate 40 Pro will take the Mate 30 lineup to its extreme level with 120 degree waterfall display and a new 90Hz of refresh rate along with some under display technologies. And by that I mean no not under display camera, it was firstly expected to have under screen camera technology, then later we learned that we could see notch or punch hole there. But then Rodin from Twitter has revealed that notch on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro will look like this, kinda similar design as what we have seen in the latest patent, but there will be a face ID sensors are going hidden under the actual screen. That means that Huawei has successfully manages to put the face ID under the actual display, so they should have gone for under display front camera as well. Even a Chinese display maker Wujinox already mass producing the displays with support for under display cameras. So they can easily buy displays from them but Huawei is not doing this. So maybe results weren't that satisfied to meet the standards of Huawei. But all in all, this thing is confirmed that under display camera will not gonna happen with the Huawei Mate 40 family. Rodent has also revealed that finally, we are again getting a TV speaker setup with the Huawei Mate 40. There will be a speaker setup on top and bottom side while the airpiece still remains under the screen. Moving towards the back, Huawei's most strong point, the camera. This year, arguably, Samsung tried their really best with their great camera hardware to beat Huawei, but Huawei still remains quite better in the camera game, and with the Mate 40 Pro, they are still upgrading. We had previously reported on the known analyst Meng Shiku's report regarding a free home lens for the Mate 40 series back in April 2020. And now the company has finished the development of free home lens and 9P camera modules. To explain the freeform camera technology, so it is a digital lens that has its curvature generated and not molded. This improves the overall sharpness of the image and reduces noise in the shot and blurriness as well. In other words, pictures click with this lens should offer a more precise capture than conventional lenses. Furthermore, the addition of 9P lens will also help in improved camera performance. The 9P lens enables better light intake for the image sensor which is especially useful during low light scenarios. Freeform lens technology will also help reduce distortion in widening the lens since widening the lens has the fish eye effect that is noticeable on the edges of an image and Huawei will be bringing back the Mate 20 style to their Mate 40 series. According to this leak, the Mate 40 will have Mate 20 like square camera setup on the rear which I honestly really like. Under the hood, as always, the Mate 40 will be powered by the latest and greatest current 1020 chipset based on a 5 nanometer process architecture, which is also going to be the last current chipset powering the Huawei smartphone. As we have talked before, according to new export rules, Huawei will no longer able to make their current chipsets, and now it is further confirmed by Industry Insider on Weibo that Huawei's flagship smartphones in 2021 could be powered by a 5 nanometer chip from a third party vendor. He didn't reveal more on that but as we learned before from a great analyst that Qualcomm is going to be the one that will supply chips to Huawei. But again we have to wait for some more confirmations. Speaking on the software side, so Huawei has expanded its services really well. Personally I tried Huawei Petal Search and it works really well. I haven't used the Huawei P40 devices so I don't know how well Huawei's AI voice assistant works but all in all Huawei is progressing really well and Harmony US will also be coming by the end of this year. No not in smartphones but in Huawei made watch and a gaming laptop from Honor. So yeah that's pretty much it for now. Do let me know what you guys think of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Subscribe and support for daily tech videos and for more coverage on the Huawei Mate 40 and I'll see you in the next one.